So uh, there's some new video of a funnel cloud, though, to show you in Elgin, which is in the Austin area, central Texas. At least three people were hurt in this. Some are staying in the city's recreation center, which has opened now as a shelter. About 30 minutes away in Round Rock, we're talking about some incredible video where severe weather ripped through yesterday. Get inside, get inside! Run, 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 run! Run, run, run! Showing what it looked like outside of a Walmart there in Round Rock as people scrambled for shelter while a potential tornado approach there. And this is video showing a tornado approaching the Kalahari Resorts. Fortunately, the, uh, any injuries reported there were minor. And let us show you now what it looks like live right now in Austin as we, as we take a look. ABC's Marcus Moore is there now to show us. Uh, Marcus. Wow. Yeah, Jacob and Rita, you, you look at those videos and it's absolutely incredible to, to know that people survived that and they were in the middle of it. And this is what is left of a bank building here in Round Rock. You can see the drive through awning. It has been torn away. And look at all of the, the twisted metal there. And there's even a parking park, uh, a pickup truck rather, still in the parking lot here. And then when you look around, massive pieces of wood and even bricks littering the parking lot. This is the kind of stuff that was flying through the air as people were inside a Walmart. One of the videos you saw there, they found themselves in the middle of this dangerous situation. And this was something that was playing out across the region, not only here in the Austin area, but up towards DFW in Jacksboro, where a high school and several homes there were damaged as well. And so it was a sleepless night for people across the region. And Jacob and Rita, there are so many families who spent the night um, overnight uh, outside of their homes yeah. uh, because this storm uh, ripped through and caused so much devastation. It really is heartbreaking. And this morning, uh, later this morning, crews will be out to survey the damage to see just how bad it is across the region. And some of those crews have already been out there, right, Marcus? I was just looking at the videos that you've posted on your social media account. You see firefighters going around. You see street signs down. I mean, people just kind of going outside, right, if you will, to, to see what's left. Yeah, and, and Rita, that happened immediately after the storm moved through. We were there. Uh, we were getting there just as the fire department was arriving on the scene to assess the situation. And when we were talking to people in those neighborhoods, uh, they told us how the storm blew in in just a few minutes and they went to the places they knew to go to, the, the, the interior room on the lowest level of their home, uh, in the closet, and many of them praying that they would be safe. And that is one of the miracles here, uh, guys, that uh, there were no serious injuries mm -hmm. that, that we are aware of, and also no deaths, uh, despite all of the destruction you see yeah. here and so many tornadoes overnight. ABC's Michael Marcus Moore, thank you so much, Marcus. Uh, I believe 10 tornadoes uh, reported across Texas now. Let's